guys, welcome back. Part two. First, we're going to need some machines. We're going to need some Viata machines. So where are we going to get uh, VYOS from? Well, we're going to go to VYOS.net and we're going to download the actual particular um, VYOS 116, as we see here, Helium, um, the OS install. So I've already done that, but that's where you go to and you grab it. And then, of course, you want to start up um, good old VirtualBox. So in VirtualBox here, I've done a bit of a clean out. I had so many virtual machines all over the place because of these videos. Um, I do have a template here, as you can see, but I'm going to just configure one from scratch just to show you. So we're going to say new, and we're going to call this RTR, oops, if I could spell, LON-01. You will choose a Linux machine, and it's going to be Debian, Debian 64. Continue. Um, 512 memory size, uh, it's probably overkill to be honest. Uh, 256 will be more than enough for our actual um, VYOS router, because we've only, we've only got a few little machines that we'll be actually uh, routing traffic for. Obviously, the more traffic you're going to be dealing with, the more memory. So when you order this within software, you probably want to allow at least eight uh, gig is certainly what I've seen um, and what I use as standard. But, you know, you could go with four and then up it later on. Continue on that. Uh, we're going to create a virtual hard drive. Of course we are. We'll stick with the VDI box image. Um, I'm going to make it fit. Well, to be honest, you can have dynamic size. Fine. I usually go for fixed. Let's go with dynamically allocated. You'll only need a gig, but you have to have over a gig or your install will fail because it will test whether you've got enough space. So we'll go for a gig. Uh, we'll say create that. Now when the machine's here, which is fine, but it's got nothing on it yet. We haven't done an install. We want to install the actual uh, system. So we'll go to storage and we'll go to our empty CD. And I'm going to click on here. And there's my VYOS 64-bit image. So I'm going to click on that, and that will mount that up for us. Go OK. And now we'll fire up our machine. Oh, one last thing. Network. While we're installing this, I want to actually enable four adapters. Now, what I did previously, let me do a cancel on that, is if I go up to VirtualBox Preferences, I have actually created some networks in here. Now this won't matter once you bring it into GNS3, but I have a VBox Net 4 private network on the 159. Um, private as in it's private to my machine. So that VBox network, I probably want to use that for the networks in here. And I want to say host only adapter, VBox Net 4. Enable this one, host only adapter, VBox Net 4. And my apologies for going through this so quickly. I just, I guess we're at a stage in these tutorials, like this is video 80 or 81. Um, go back to the earlier VBox and VYOS and GNS video if you want to get a bit longer of an explanation on all of these things. I'm just racing through this, you know, specific setup bits because this is only our simple setup area. Um, just getting the machine, um, oops, I want to go VBox Net 4, and I want to go VBox Net 4, VBox Net 4, lovely. So I've got four adapters. So as I say, I'm racing through this because, you know, this really is um, fairly simple stuff, just setting up VBox machines. Um, I wanted to cover it here purely because it sounds awful to tell people, oh, you'll have to go back and look at the other video for this video, and then come back to part three. I might as well just cover it here in part two. So go OK. We've got four adapters there, host only. That's fine. Let's fire up this system. So you can either double click or hit start. When I hit start, it will boot from the CD. That will take a couple of seconds. Here it is loading. And all I want to do once this comes up, so VYOS is the standard user and VYOS is the password. 
This is the CD we're on. We haven't actually installed it yet. So all I wanted to cover in this particular part of the video was install the image. That's all you need to type. You don't need to go to root to do this. You're just installing it for the first time. Would I like to continue? Yes, I certainly would. Um, auto partition it, take the whole partition. Yes, to continue, it'll wipe that partition. It'll be the whole partition. It's now creating our file system, copying all our files on there. We'll call it 116 as the image. Love its file system, SquashFS, great name. Config.boot, stick with this, this is the default. And we'll stick with VYOS and VYOS for the password and the user. Grub, put it on SDA or else you won't be able to boot the damn thing. And that's it. So we're going to power off, oof, off. Just going to power that off. And now we're going to unmount the actual CD. So I'm going to go back to storage here. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to uh, remove. Yep, that's fine. Okay, let's make sure this machine is starting. Now that we've removed the CD, we should see Grub in a second. There we go. It should boot up for us. Don't worry about this error. Get this all the time. Or this error. Get this all the time as well. There are ways of fixing that. I think I did it in the last tutorial, but we're not interested in that. It doesn't really affect anything we're going to be doing. VYOS, VYOS, and we're in. If I do a show interfaces, there's our four interfaces. We're happy. Power off this machine. I know I haven't done the host name or anything. That will be covered in the next part when we do the baselining of these. Want to do the same again. RTR LON-02. It's going to be Linux and it's going to be Debian 64. Uh, continue. 256 is fine for us. Whoops. If I could get it to do it. Create the hard disk. VDI. Dynamically allocated. 1.07. Whoops. Create, done. And run through the same steps again. So we're going to install image and that's that machine ready as well. So join me in the next part when we will baseline both of those machines. Come back, part two, B um, of tutorial 25. So here we are. I've completed building all of these machines. I ran through exactly the same commands um, series of instructions, whatever you want to call them, to set up the um, router one. Um, so RTR LONO one. I ran through exactly the same for RTR LONO two and RTR PAR01. So this will be London one, London two, and Paris one. They've all got four adapters. That won't matter because we'll be superseding that within GNS. But I just wanted to show you that in VBox they're all there. And if you wanted to not use GNS3, then you could still emulate these networks outside of GNS3 and within VBox itself using the private networking in VBox. And then you can put hosts on those private networks as well and do it that way. But I'm going to show you in a bit more of a graphic way using GNS3. And here indeed is GNS3. It's, as you can see, a completely clean GNS3. I've just wiped all other machines out of there. So these are the machines that are available to me. And this was probably what you're going to see, maybe without the Cisco routers, uh, when you first start up your own GNS3. How do you get GNS3? Well, you go to this site, gns3.com. You join the community. It's free, so join it here. That will give you a username and password, at which stage you can click on download and then log in and download GNS3. Once you do download GNS3, certainly on a Mac, um, and I covered this in the previous tutorial, very, very simple. You just install the package and away you go. And this is what you'll see. So what do we want to do? Well, to finish off this part two, all I want to do is show you how to get those virtual machines into your GNS3. So you go up to, you click on GNS3 and you go to Preferences 
under the main menu for GNS3. And that will bring you to this series of menus. You go to the VirtualBox VMs. This will now connect when I hit new to our VirtualBox. You see it connecting here. And here's all our virtual machines in VirtualBox. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have RTR Lawn 01, 02, and 01 for Paris. So I want to click on that one, say finish. RTR Lawn 01, we want to edit it. And what we want to edit is that it's got one adapter. We want to make sure it's got four adapters. Go OK. Same again, new machine, RTR Lono 2, finish, edit it, network, four adapters. Okay, and then finally, new RTR PAR 01 for our Paris machine, finish that, edit it, and give this one, well, I tell you what, let's have bonding on there as well. And we'll have four adapters on there. And that's it. Go OK. And then when you click on this icon again for all the devices that are available, they should be in there. And there they are. Now, the trouble is they don't look very router-like. So just right-click on them. Ah, go back into Preferences again. I thought you could just right click them from there. Right click it here, change symbol. And we'll go up here and say it's a router firewall, which it is. Change symbol again, router firewall. Pity you can't do it from the other menu. And then change symbol and we'll go router firewall again. Okay, go okay. Now when we do this, there they are. They look like router firewalls and you can just drag them in, which is what we will be doing. So if I drag in London 1, London 2, and just set them up in the middle of the page there, and then router Paris. You can see how we will start to develop our entire environment. While we're here, we might as well bring in our switching. There's our switch one, and let's have a switch Two, just to emulate the switching that's going on, the layer two switching. And that's pretty much it now for part two. I'll leave it there. I'm going to just show you as well how you can go file, save. I'm just going to save this project. And I've called this Tutorial 25 Viata Emulation. So we now have our three routers. We have two switches. And I'll tell you what, let's bring in a third switch populate that down here, down by Paris, file, save. Excellent. So we're ready to get going. Everything is set up. We have vanilla VYOS on each of these routers. We have three switches in there as well to emulate switching networks. Um, I'm not actually going to emulate the internet other than to have a PC out here. So you pick up VPCS. And this will be, if I change the host name, public, whoops, public internet machine. So that's going to sit out here. Again, I'm going to go file, save, and I'm going to try and build this up as we go. So join me in part three when we're actually going to start getting in on these machines. Um, and configuring them all up. There will be a degree of uh, switch configuration to be done because we want some trunking um, between the connections between here and 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 here. Um, and you'll hear that an awful lot as we go through this. Um, we'll be talking about an awful lot of connections, but we'll get this all set up. Um, and to do that, we'll start doing in part three, the configuration for London up here and first we'll use the bonding and then we'll use high availability and we'll get it all set up. So join me in a second for part three. Um, hope this is useful, but that is how you get GNS3 all ready to rock and roll with our Viata emulation tutorial.